Hi there, I'm Arbit, and uh, today we're going to be starting a new series. Uh, I'm going to start making videos where I go through my experiences through Pokemon Draft Leagues. Uh, for those who don't know, Draft Leagues are basically where uh, uh, you have about 16 or so people uh, called coaches, and basically you choose, uh, you draft certain Pokemon. Uh, no, po no person can choose um, a Pokemon more than once, and basically uh, you, you're stuck with your 9 to 11 or so Pokemon for the entire tournament, with uh, the exception of trades. Um, and basically you build your teams around them and you up uh, versus other people um, in a tournament format. So that sounds really fun and, I've, um, and I'm really looking forward to doing a bunch of them. Uh, I don't have a massive amount of experience, so hopefully this is going to be a way to document um, how I perform over time. Um, I, for background reference, I do have some uh, experience in Smogon, so I've been playing Smogon for quite a few years, uh, especially in the overused tier. Um, however, uh, I'm, I was never the best, obviously. Uh, I'm not very good, but uh, I do know all the basic mechanics. I know how to, you know, make switches, uh, do reads, and I know like the type type chart and stuff. So, uh, you know, all that, all the basic stuff you need to be a decent enough player um, in a draft league. Uh, I might have some bad habits that might make me, um, might, that I might need to get over um, in order to be a good uh, draft league player. But uh, as we go along, I guess we'll see. Um, so today we're going to be talking about uh, my draft for the EDA, EM Draft Association. Um, and basically, uh, the gimmick of this is that uh, at the start of drafting, each, um, each, each coach was able to ban one Pokemon. And um, basically, this base lowers the power level slightly. It's not too much, but basically, if you didn't like the Pokemon, you never want to face that Pokemon, then you can ban it. Um, so that's pretty great. Um, just a, j uh, j just some general commentary on how that banning went. Um, I'll just list all the Pokemon that were banned uh, right now. So Slowbro was banned. Weavile, Aegislash, Metal Metal, uh, Clefable, Deancey Mega, Pelipper, Mew, Toxapex, La Latios, uh, Gliscor, Mamoswine, Lando T, uh, Mega Glade, and Darmantan Galar, which I banned, and Kiram. So something you might notice is that um, Pelipper's gone, so there is no rain. Um, another thing is uh, a lot of ice types were removed. So Kiram was removed, Darmanitan was, remo was removed, Mamoswine was gone, um, and last one's Weavile. So all the good ice types are basically gone. Um, I believe like the only good one remaining, the only decent one remaining was Vanillix. So, um, it's much easier to build teams that have a bit of a nice weakness, and you can rest easy knowing that you won't get swept by Triple Axel Weavile. Um, so I think that's pretty nice. Um, another thing being Toxapex being gone, so stall teams are a bit weaker, but um, event, as we'll, as I'll say, um, there actually was a stall team that was built. Uh, it's obviously a lot weaker thanks to uh, Toxapex, but um, that and Clefable. Um, so I guess that's something worth noting. Um, some very fast sweepers, such as uh, Galley Mega and Deancey Mega, were also banned. So um, just some general um, threats were removed from the table. All right, so now we'll begin with my draft. Um, personally, I just wanted to begin this draft by doing something that I wanted to, uh, using a Pokemon that I wanted to use. Um, and I looked through the board and kind of just saw uh, what was available. And while perhaps it's not pop the most popular first pick, um, I decided to choose uh, Dracovish. So Dracovish is in my opinion, a great, po a phenomenal Pokemon. It um, obviously is uh, amazing for its move, Fish's Rend. Uh, an 85 base power, physical contact, uh, water type move that uh, doubles in damage if Dracovish moves first. If you uh, add Stab on top of that, and if you add Strong Jaw, um, its ability on top of that, uh, it's a massive nuke and probably the best wall breaker in the game. It has a phenomenal typing, Water and Dragon, and it's just uh, a really good Pokemon to break walls, it destroys stall. Um, it, it also just eliminates basically anything that isn't either a bulky grass type or a bulky water type. Um, and even the grass types need to fear Ice Fang uh, from our Dracovish, um, or Leech Life even. Um, so basically the biggest threats to Dracovish would be uh, bulk grass types such as Tangrowth and Tangela, which can take um, Fish's Wrens and Ice Fangs very well. Um, however, uh, I can just build, what I'm going to do is build uh, my team around that and um, try and find a way to deal with that. Um, another thing is obviously Dracovish is very slow. Uh, its base speed is 75 and so I'm going to need to put in a lot of work to either make Dracovish faster or make my opponents slower than Dracovish. 
um, well, the fastest, the best way and most popular way is to add a choice scarf, but obviously that's very predictable, so um, I'm going to try and get other forms of support as well. Uh, stuff such as hazards can also help break sashes and stuff that could be very useful. Um, another thing is uh, its ability Sand Rush. So Sand Rush uh, lets it double its speed in the sand. Uh, so uh, I actually initially wanted to go for a uh, sand uh, option, like a, like a sand mode using a sand setter Pokemon, but unfortunately uh, they all got drafted before I was able to pick one. Uh, I did leave it a bit late, so um, we'll see how uh, I dealt with that as we go along. Um, so my second Pokemon, I kind of just wanted something that complemented Dracovich quite well, and something that was uh, something that I could always depend on and always bring and expect uh, a lot of value out of, So, which is why I decided to draft uh, Jirachi. Jirachi is um, a Steel Psychic Pokemon with base 100 stats across the board. I think it's a really great Pokemon. Um, it's just able to do so much, and uh, can, you can turn it into so many different types of Pokemon. Uh, you can make it into a Cleric with Wish and Healing Wish and um, such. You, it gets a U-turn, so you can pivot into Dracovish really well and bring it in, since Dracovish kind of kills every kills something every time it comes in. Um, it, it's just uh, Steel type is great um, for just general damage. You can just run Iron Head, and uh, if you run a Choice Scarf, uh, Iron Head uh, Serene Grace is a really annoying thing to do to deal with. Uh, personally, I don't want to rely on that too much um, because of its unreliability and, um, you know, it's not the best strategy. But um, if I do need something, you know, if I need, if I do need to flinch something down, um, then I have that option. Uh, something else like uh, Thunder Punch Spam, uh, Body Slam, stuff like that is also available. Um, but generally, I think this will be a very great utility Pokemon. I can also run Weakness Policy, which can make it into a massive damage machine. Um, so that's something to look forward to doing. Um, so kind of the next Pokemon, I wanted something, uh, obviously Dracovish isn't the best Pokemon to build around as the, it's, it's not the most reliable Pokemon, so I decided to go for something, uh, something that is consistently going to deal massive amounts of damage, and that happens to be Mega Charizard X. Uh, Mega Charizard X is a, uh, Mega Pokemon that is Dragon and Fire type. It has ma monstrous, uh, attack and special attacks. But you mainly use its attack because of its abilities, uh, Tough Claws, uh, which um, increases all f contact moves by 50% damage. It's just an amazing Pokemon. It's Gen 1, so it has a phenomenal uh, move pool and gets stuff um, like mixed. You can run mixed, you can run Dragon Dance, you can run Roost. Uh, it gets uh, it gets amazing coverage, it gets flying coverage, it gets ground and rock, uh, Thunder Punch, I believe, and so much other stuff that. It's just going to be my glue Pokemon that I use in every single battle uh, to deal massive amounts of damage. It's a great sweeper at the end because it's base 100 speed, uh, same as Jirachi, but it, thanks to Dragon Dance, I can make it even faster. Um, so I think I will definitely use this Pokemon a lot and hopefully I get a lot of value out of it. Um, it's probably also going to be the thing that my opponents try and target down and build around the most. So hopefully, uh, maybe aside from Dracovish. Um, so together with Dracovish, hopefully they're an amazing threat. Um, it's also a great defensive typing, so it's a, it's a dragon type that is neutral to fairy types, so that's really great. Um, and it does double the dragon typing with Dracovish, and that's quite early on, but uh, I think that dragon type is not the worst typing to double up on. It's very valuable to just spam dragon moves all the time. Obviously Dracovish doesn't really do that as much, it just clicks Vicious Rend. Um, but yeah, I think it's a, it's a great start to my draft. Next up, um, I decided to get something, uh, obviously I have a fire type, I have a water type, I wanted a grass type, and on top of that I wanted something that kind of took the disruptor role um, burden off of Jirachi a little bit. So I decided to grab Rotom Mo. So Rotom is a really great disruptor, uh, it can spam Will-O-Wisp, Thunder Wave, Pain Split, um, and with Jirachi it completes a Volt Turn Core, um, so it's just going to be really useful to just uh, be annoying. Uh, keep the momentum up and switch in uh, Charizard and Dracovish whenever uh, it's able to. It also gets the Fog, which is great, uh, to remove the hazards that um, Charizard is four times weak to before Mega Evolving and also two times weak to after. Um, and also stuff such as Sticky Webs, which might slow down Dracovish and ruin its day. Um, it's also uh, it's also resists Edge Quake. It's immune to ground and is weak and is resistant to rock typing. So that's going to be great, especially since two of my best Pokemon are Jirachi and Charizard. Um, Dracovish also doesn't appreciate um, an Earthquake or Stone Edge to the face. Um, so the next Pokemon is going to be something a bit faster. I wanted something um, above base 100 speed to kind of um, beat the Scarfers and 
uh, by scarfing myself and also just being a very fast threat. Uh, so I also wanted it to have a good damage output, so that's why I picked uh, Tornadus. Tornadus is uh, perhaps not the best Pokemon. It doesn't have a, the most amazing coverage, but it does have um, moves such as Hurricane uh, and Heat Wave and uh, great utility in moves such as Tailwind, Knock Off, and U-Turn, um, which will let me be, uh, which will which will let it be another annoying pivot. Um, obviously, Hurricane Hurricane is nice to spam if I run, for example, Choice Specs or something like that. Um, so its general point, the, the general point of it is just to basically. Uh, click Hurricane. Knockoff is going to be a great support, especially because Knockoff just removes the item, and um, I think having as many Pokemon with that move as possible is going to be really useful because um, I can just use it whenever and put it on whatever team, uh, Pokemon I think uh, can fit it on because I, it's just a really good move. I like it a lot. Um, so yeah, I, I really enjoyed this Pokemon's um, value. Next up, I wanted a Fairy type to kind of deal with the dragons, obviously, with two dragons. But two dragons and myself, um, I'm not handling the best, and Jirachi kind of is dealing with fairies already. So I decided to draft the um, really reliable and my mascot for the Kelvin Kumfei's is Kumfei. Uh, Kumfei is a Pokemon I really wanted to use because of its amazing ability triage. It basically gives all healing moves plus three priority, and that includes Drain Kiss and Pika Drain. So it's just uh, a really great revenge killer because you literally can't outspeed it, maybe apart from extreme speed, I don't remember. Um, but um, it, and it has great uh, stab combos. Well, it's not it's not stabbing grass, but it basically is. It gets all those moves such as synthesis, leech seed, um, and aromatherapy, which is another good, great support. Uh, aromatherapy combined with wish and healing wish from Jirachi. I uh, mean, I have every cleric move I would like to have. Um, yeah, it's only really res real re problem is steel types. And with Pokemon such as Dracovish, which can just click Fish's Friend, and uh, Charizard, which clicks Fire Moves, um, I'm really not that concerned with Steel types. Um, so yeah, I, I really like Comfey and hope to use it a lot this season. Uh, next up is uh, a Pokemon maybe uh, a bit unexpected. It's Claydol. Um, I really wanted to use Claydol, uh, and I saw it, it synergize really well with my team. Um, it gets Teleport, which is another great pivot move. So a lot of these Pokemon I've drafted have pivot moves, and I really like using them. Um, I just like spamming U-Turn and Bolt Switch all the time, and it just really gets me into great positions. Um, and I think Claydol is especially valuable because it's a slow pivot. Um, it's kind of bulky, so uh, it's going to take a few hits, and it can do uh, stuff such as Rapid Spin. Rapid Spin helps me remove um, hazards without removing um, the opponent's fields, the opponent's uh, hazards on their side of the field, which I will be setting up myself. It also gets Stealth Rock. It also gets amazing coverage. It gets Shadow Ball, Ice Beam, Grass Knot, etc. So I feel like that's going to be really fun to just um, surprise the opponent with. Um, and another thing I'd be interested in trying out, especially since I don't have a Sand Setter, is um, giving it a Smooth Rock and uh, letting it use Sandstorm. Because Sandstorm into Teleport brings in Dracovish perfectly safely. And after that, it's just kind of destruction from then on. If there's no Scarfer, then I kind of just kill everything um, that comes in. So I feel like that would be really fun to just watch. Um, and especially because you see no Sand Setter on my team, um, you might not expect to prepare for um, Sand Rush uh, Dracovish. It's just, you might not expect it, and then suddenly, boom, uh, Claydol comes in, uses Sandstorm, and um, it's now going to be the end of your day. So I think that's going to be really fun to try out, and I really hope that I get a lot of value out of it. The next Pokemon I, I wanted was a Dark-type. Um, I felt like I was withholding getting a Dark-type long enough, and um, I definitely wanted something good um, while it was still available, so I got Drapion. Drapion's a phenomenal Dark-type, paired up with Poison-typing it is only weak to the ground type, and only by two times. So, uh, especially with uh, Claydol, uh, Tornadus, Rotom, uh, all being uh, immune to the ground type, and of course, um, and, and and just generally, like, my... I, I, generally, I can fly over the ground types, so I wasn't concerned at all about um, that. I, and if I really wanted to, I can just run a Sugar Berry, but Drapion's really great, because it can run T-Spikes, it can run Battle Armor for uh, Urshifu, for example, or. Uh, it's not the best check, but it can um, deal with it to a certain degree. Um, it has great coverage, it gets knockoff, and I think it's just going to be a really fun Pokemon to use. Iron Defense is also very nice, maybe I can build up something, especially with Battle Armor, you can't br really break past um, a Drapion who set up its defenses. So, um, you know, you, you have a ver we have a variety of sets we can run. We can also run Poison Fang, which can give Toxic to Pokemon uh, while dealing damage, so that's really interesting. Um, so the next Pokemon I wanted to use 
Um, obviously, like I said, I wanted speed control, so I decided to go with a Raquanid. Uh, it's quite an expensive weather, but um, I found that, that was, this was the best one. Uh, obviously, Dracovish is my only water type apart from a Raquanid, and I felt that um, relying on Dracovish as the only water type was not the best option, especially considering how um, it doesn't really act like a regular water type. It just uh, clicks Fish's Rend, and um, that's about it. Um, so I wanted, to, for water type purposes, I wanted something else. Um, that I could switch in, and I think a Raquanid is the perfect option. It's immune to burn thanks to Water Bubble, and basically has a Fish's Rend of its own thanks to its ability Water Bubble, water bubble which doubles the damage of water type moves. Um, so I like this Pokemon because not only does it click Sneaky Web, which is all I really wanted from it, um, but it can also do other stuff like click Liquidation, click Mirror Coat, click uh, Magic Coat, click Toxic, or Leech Life. Um, there's just a lot of stuff it can potentially do, and um, I think a lot of people might not expect it. I can um, just use, use this Pokemon for a variety of reasons, but um, obviously the main thing is to set up Sticky Webs. Um, unlike other Pokemon such as Galvantula or Comfe, uh, sorry not Comfe, um, Ribombi, um, I feel like this Pokemon can switch in several more times than uh, the frailer ones, so that's why I wanted to use this Pokemon. Uh, my second last Pokemon I drafted um, is, is the cheapest option, it was one point, and it was Quilladen. So Quilladen um, is a Pokemon, I actually wanted Maractus at the start, um, because of its ability to get spikes, it's another grass type. And one thing about Rotom Mole, uh, really one of its big weaknesses is that its only move is Leaf Storm. And while Leaf Storm is a, sorry, its only grass type move is Leaf Storm. And while grass type, uh, while Leaf Storm is a great move, um, it isn't the best to spam, so uh, I wanted something that was a bit more reliable and a bit more... Um, uh, something with more longevity. And Qu Quilladin is definitely not the best option, but it is an option that I was able to grab for a very cheap price. Uh, it can also use um, it can also use spikes like Maractus, but the reason why I chose Quilladin in the end over Maractus was um, its ability, Bulletproof. Um, basically, right now I'm very, very weak to Ghost. I have zero resists, and I felt like Oh, I do have one resist in Drapion, but um, what I felt like doing was running Bulletproof because um, literally the only Ghost type move ever used is Shadow Ball, and uh, being a Ball type move, Bulletin uh, with the ability Bulletproof is completely immune to it. So it basically is another Ghost type community, and I think that's going to be really fun to use. Uh, Bulletin is really great. It can run uh, Substitutes, Sword Stance. It can run Toxic. It can run Synthesis. It can run Leech Seed Spam, um, and I think that's just going to be really. It's going to be a surprising, annoying Pokémon for my opponents to deal with. And my last Pokémon, um, you probably noticed that there are quite a few missing um, typings. Uh, I definitely need a normal type, and I definitely need a fighting type. And guess what I got? I got Beware. Beware is a normal fighting type with phenomenal stats. It's it's an amazing damage dealer in with massive attack stat of 120, and um, an amazing defense stat. And on top of that, its ability Fluffy makes it even more of a physical tank. Uh, it's able to take down. It's able to resist knockoffs, so that's going to be really nice to just deal with those kind of Pokemon. Uh, it's obviously immune to Ghost, and um, I think it's just going to be a great nuisance. It has an amazing move pool. Uh, it can. It has uh, physical dark moves. Gets earthquake. Gets ice, steel, dragon, rock, ghost, electric, and psychic type on top of its normal and fighting stabs. So I feel like that's just going to be really fun to just put a choice band on it and just uh, go to town. Um, and yeah, I just think it rounds out the team really nicely. Um, so yeah, that's my team for um, EDA. Um, I think like I drafted pretty well. I did have to change some plans every now and then. Uh, in fact, actually, one fun fact is I initially planned to draft uh, Mega Beedrill uh, instead of Mega Charizard um, for my third slot, but decided to go for Charizard. I felt like it was more reliable um, in the end. So um, you know, I might I might use Beedrill another time. Um, yeah, overall I feel like I'm pretty happy with this draft. I was able to hit everything I wanted to and um, get everything that I wanted. So I'm pretty proud of it, um, but obviously it's probably not the best in the eyes of an actual experienced drafter. So um, if anyone has any feedback to give, because I can make transactions, uh, I feel like that would be that would be very much appreciated. Um, obviously I'm still learning and this entire series, the purpose of it is to get better at drafting. So. Um, yeah, basically that's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching, um, and yeah, hopefully I'll see you uh, next week when we finally begin uh, our first EDA um, uh, battle against uh, another coach. <laughs>